when she was in the fourth grade, we were actually were seeing a doctor for something else. And at the end of that visit, he pulled me aside and he said, have you ever had your daughter check for Tourette syndrome? And I had no idea what that was. As soon as I realized I had it, I didn't want to tell anyone because I didn't want to be different. Like I didn't want anyone to judge me. I didn't really want anyone to know. But as I tried to like suppress it and hide it from my classmates, it got a lot worse. And um, I couldn't, there's a lot of times, most times I couldn't go to school. And she actually had a form of Tourette syndrome called coprolalia. And only 25% of people with Tourette syndrome have coprolalia. And it's where you uncontrollably yell curse words. She had a group of friends that were such a very, very, very close group of friends. They were over at our house all the time. She was at their house. And when this started, they kind of pulled away or they kind of shunned her. Definitely made fun of her tics. I remember very vividly what I would do. I'd be laying in my room, I'd be laying in my bed, I'd be somewhere. And I'd be just like bawling my eyes out and crying to God. And I'd be like, I like I love you and I know that you love me, but I don't understand like why you're doing this to me, like why you're putting me through this. And I mean, it helped me because I built a really great, strong relationship with Christ through those times. But we talked her into leaving about halfway through the eighth grade. And that's when we pulled her over to Horizon. I remember her talking about Tourette's and sharing that with her classmates and helping them to understand what it was that she was working through and, and, and how that affected her, even before she was able to open up about that. I don't recall students being hung up on that. It didn't bother them. They just allowed her to be herself. The very first day she came back from school, she was just all smiles. I mean, she was so excited because she said, Mom, these girls want to be my friends. They want to talk to me. They want to um, do stuff with me after school. Uh, she had just, it had been so long since she had experienced that. One of the things that was different for her here was that she found a group of friends who wanted to know her and got to know her for who she is. She wasn't defined by a diagnosis. She wasn't defined by even a past experience. That she had an opportunity to start fresh and be accepted for who she was. Once I came to Horizon and I was accepted and I realized like people here are going to treat me like, I mean they're Christ-like people and they're going to treat me like that and then I thought I was, I was accepted and I was okay. It's the happiest time of my life was the four years that I was at Horizon. I mean by far, I mean it was the happiest time I've ever been. As we developed the relationships, as we understood who she was, as we worked and as our staff worked with her, she began to grow and she began to develop. With that became change. Um, with that was growth, and with that growth is maturity. It's a beautiful thing to see that um, what happens with students when they have that opportunity. I joined the chapel class we have, which runs all the chapels, and I'm on the worship team, and I'm a worship leader, and that's, I mean, that's truly become one of my biggest passions in life, and it's something I love, and I'm gonna look forward to doing in my future. And I think Horizon really, I would have never, ever even considered that if I didn't come to Horizon and if that didn't happen and all the things fell into place, I would have never even considered it and it's something that it's like one of my biggest loves. And like the relationships I've created, like how I've grown, like the things that I have like thrived in that I didn't think I could, all of those put together have built me up as a person and I have, Horizon gave me a foundation. That's where my foundation was built and now I know what I wanna do and I know what I'm confident in and what I can accomplish. And I have the people that will support me and surround me for the rest of my life because of Horizon and that's been that foundation for me. One of the things that I love about what we do here at Horizon, when we focus on multiple intelligences and, and here we refer to that as eye smarts, we give every kid an opportunity to be labeled as smart in their unique way, however it is they're wired, however it is they're gifted. And I think when students are sensing that acceptance from their teachers, they um, embrace that same culture with one another. Even now, it's been four years, even now every single time we do something um, and watch how she's just blossomed. Whatever fiery trials you're going through, whatever hardships are in your life, whatever's going on, trust in God and know that this is all happening for a reason and out of this you'll praise him and out of this you'll become stronger. And I found that my freshman year and I was like this explains like a big part of my life and all that when I battled 
and I struggled with God and I was asking him why, those were like the fiery trials he was putting in me to like make me become a better person. Because everything that happened in my life, it was awful and it was terrible, but it changed me and I wouldn't, like I wouldn't trade it for anything and I wouldn't change it because of like what I've grown into because of it.